friends. Welcome back to Redgate Ranch Homestead. Today, we're going to be making some peanut butter cookies. Yum, yum. So stay tuned, and this is how we're gonna do it. For peanut butter cookies, we're going to need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Teaspoon of baking powder. and three quarters teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna sift all of this together. Next, in the mixer, we're going to put one stick of softened butter. I use unsalted butter. And then the other butter, peanut butter. We're gonna, we need one cup of peanut butter. And you know, peanut butter and butter together is really lovely on a piece of warm toast in the mornings. But that's not what we're gonna do today. So, now we're gonna turn the mixer on and mix that for just a couple minutes. Okay. Now that we've got the peanut butter and the butter mixture blended, we're gonna scrape this down. Make sure we get everything so that it can be incorporated. Then we're going to add one, one half cup of packed brown sugar then one half cup of white sugar. We're gonna mix that together. Okay, this is coming together so nicely. Mmm, peanut butter smells so good. I just love it. Scrape that down. Okay. And now we're going to add one Humpty Dumpty, otherwise known as one egg. And then one teaspoon of vanilla. We'll mix that together. Okay. Now, we add the dry ingredients that we sifted earlier. Here we go. I'm gonna to have to turn this on slow, otherwise we're gonna have a snowstorm in my kitchen today. <laughs> All right, let's go slow. Now that's all blended and I'll bring you back as soon as we're ready to put these on the cookie sheet. Now we're going to roll out the cookies and put them on a baking sheet. In the meanwhile, I've been preheating my oven to 350 degrees. It doesn't matter um, what particular size you want, you know, do it like you want to do it. Um, I like to make them in you know, just little one inch balls, I guess, is about the size that these are. And these go on an ungreased cookie sheet because it's got all that butter in it. I wanted to tell you that the reason I'm making these cookies today is as a gift for some sweet neighbors that helped me haul something yesterday and I wanted to just do a little something for them to let them know how much I appreciate. So Tiffany and Jimmy, if you're watching, thank you. I hope you enjoy these. Tiffany and Jimmy have five children together and 
They are the sweetest family. They have three boys and two girls. And boy, do they stay busy. <laughs> they also raise chickens. They have goats and three dogs. And one just had puppies, Kay. And I think she had five puppies. They were cute as they could be. Tiffany said she had to turn people away. They were, they're pit bulls. And they are the sweetest dogs ever. So I bet Tiffany and Jimmy and all their children are going to be so surprised with these peanut butter cookies. Now, I bet you thought I was about to forget about taking a fork with the traditional peanut butter cookies. You uh, score them with a fork. So let me reach. Get a fork. And then you just press down one way, then drag it through, then press the opposite way and drag it through. And then just repeat. Okay, now those are ready for the oven and I'm gonna bake these at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. Hey friends, well, the cookies are out of the oven. I let them bake for 10 minutes at 350 degrees and you let them cool on the baking sheet itself. Don't take these off and put them on a rack because they're so soft when they come out of the oven, they really need to crisp up on the baking sheet. So we're gonna plate these now and see how they turn out. Well, here they are. Crunchy, sweet, salty peanut butter cookies. They look like little mini hashtags, don't they? Um, I wonder what they should hashtag, good neighbor? Uh, that's what they mean to me right now. I hope you've had fun today. Uh, it's been great sharing this time with you. I'm going to take these over to Jimmy and Tiffany, and I hope that they have a big tall glass of milk because that would go great with these cookies. I'm building community with a cookie recipe. I hope that you enjoy it and that you can build bridges with this recipe too. Until next time, y'all, this is Redgate Ranch Homestead.